Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're looking at Bitcoin compared to stocks. Is Bitcoin a better investment than stocks? Uh, it's a nice, easy breakdown video, so make sure you've subscribed to the channel, bell notification icon, like the video up if you find some value from it. Twitter and Instagram, daily Q&As, go and check those out, links to it are down below. Let's dive into the charts. So we've got Bitcoin USD, just taking a look at the price, call it $32,000 today. Now this is a simple breakdown video, I haven't done one like this before, so I want to just introduce you to the idea of comparing our Bitcoin price to different assets over here. I'm going to focus mainly on the stocks today and uh, also introduce you to Bitcoin against gold and other indices. So we're looking at, say, the S&P. This might not be the most interesting thing for other people to jump into a stock market or something like that, but I think it's important to at least note, are we investing our money in the right places? Are we getting the returns or are we just hyping ourselves up? Are we just here for the, the moon boy rides, uh, the pump and dump, and we lose all our money and end up with nothing at the end of the day? So Bitcoin USD, we obviously know that our money is better, better placed in Bitcoin than it is in dollars. So all we're doing here is trading between the between the things here. So say we had a pen and we had a chart of Bitcoin against pens and the pens were going up in value, then I want to be holding more pens than I would be Bitcoin. That's all it's about. And so right now, it's just been an up only journey for Bitcoin. Let's put on a monthly chart so we get an absolute macro view. There, there it is, up only. Since Bitcoin came out, you've been better off buying Bitcoin than US dollars. That simple. Let's take a look at Amazon. So now you got the idea of that. Is our money better in Bitcoin or Amazon? Well, obviously from here, we would have been better off in Bitcoin. But we can note that Bitcoin only just took off, uh, only just took out the previous high against the Amazon price. So Bitcoin, Amazon uh, in this recent bull market. And that was into March whereas the rest of the market topped out in April. Remember that. So the the number here we're looking at the side is how many stocks of Amazon can one Bitcoin buy? That's what we're looking at on the side here. So Bitcoin was buying about 16 Amazon stocks. Then it got up to 19.9, call it 20 stocks. Now we're back down to 8.6 stocks. But overall, the trend is, is up. So we're better off holding... Bitcoin than we are Amazon. Now, do we want to be holding it from the tops? Obviously not. We don't want to be jumping into Bitcoin pretty much on any of these charts, which you'll see. We don't want to be jumping into Bitcoin at the tops. Look at it on log. We're in, an, in a bit of a wedge coming up here. So maybe we fall back down to these levels. The other thing I can use these charts for are uh, to see where the support is coming in across the board. So if I see a lot of support coming in at an area, say Bitcoin falls into this level, and that ends up being about five Amazon stocks to one Bitcoin, then I can start to know, well, it's happened before, happened again, happened again here, and again here, and again here. Maybe this is a good area that Bitcoin might bottom out at because I might just be looking at the USD chart and it might be, you know, maybe it's just down at uh, $22,000. I don't know, just making up a number there, but maybe it's only that far down. And I'm like, oh, is this the low? Is it not the low? And then I can go and check out this chart and go, wow, well, it's down at five Amazon stocks. So maybe it is because it's happened. It's hit that low so many times before. Seems like a reasonable support area. Let's have a look at Facebook. Can I do the same thing with Facebook? Pretty similar. So now we're doing one Bitcoin for how many Facebook stocks can I own? I know it sounds crazy. The top is 229 and the previous top was 109. Uh, yes, 109 Facebook stocks. Now we're back down to 91 Facebook stocks. So maybe this happens to base out again. Look at these highs that are coming in. This high here, high here is at 72. So if we get a little bit of a base out and we see that we've had some support here, it's a little further away here, 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 etc. And this is where we started from. So maybe we're going to get that come in as well at 72 Facebook stocks for one Bitcoin. Where is it? We won't look at gold just yet, but you can see it's pretty similar. We'll look at Google. Take it off log. We're back underneath the old all-time high, but it did take off pretty, pretty quickly into March. So against Google, we could get 
30 Google stocks for one Bitcoin, for one Bitcoin at the top. What do we have back here? This was previously 18 Google for one Bitcoin. Now we're back under that. We're at 12 Google. Overall, you're sort of getting the drift of it here. Bitcoin has been the the the, the performer. It's outperforming everything. And it's a very similar sort of chart. I can sort of adjust that back here. Get some lows and uh, away we go. You know, we're at all-time highs again. There's our high. We're underneath. So we want to get an accumulation and then start a breakout again. So we've gone through Amazon, we've looked at Facebook, we've looked, Facebook, we've looked at Google. I'm looking at the tech sector because the tech sector, NDX, has been the, the runaway sector overall. Okay, so not including cryptocurrency, the tech sector has been one of the best performers. So are we outperforming the tech sector? Yes, we're outperforming the tech sector. Sure, we're under all-time highs again, but we were outperforming it uh, all year, well, 2020 into 2021 and since its inception since bitcoin has been birthed back in 2009 where we're basically up only as well against the nasdaq of course we're starting from a much lower base a much lower market cap meaning there was a lot less money in the space and it's easier for it to grow so with that in mind the thing we don't want to see is something like tesla this is a very very different story was our money better in tesla than it was in Bitcoin. And it certainly looks like it. From 2019, we would be better off holding Tesla than we were Bitcoin. This isn't talked about a lot. It's usually crypto only or stocks only. People don't like to mix the two too much. But looking at this chart of Bitcoin and Tesla, it looks like we may have been better off in Tesla from 2019 through to September-ish 2020. Then we got a little rise up from 20, uh, September 2020 into March 2021. So about six months worth of, of gains. Percentage on those gains were about, say, 300, 330%. But then we've, we've come all the way back down to around 47, 48 Tesla stocks per one Bitcoin. So if we start to break down beneath these lows, right now this is in up, but the downside is just coming back at us. So what we don't want to see is these lows start to break down because then that would mean Tesla has been a better investment than Bitcoin. Wouldn't that just be the joke for Elon Musk to be posting about that? I He hasn't got to that yet, but Tesla looks like it could be a better investment than Bitcoin at this rate. So what we need to see is Bitcoin base out and start to regain some market share against Tesla, okay? What we don't want to see is these lows to break down and then give the jokes back to Elon Musk. So not only has he crapped on cryptocurrency, his company is also doing better than cryptocurrency. Okay, so keep watching these charts. You do what you need to do. If you want your money playing, you know, making the most you can and playing the good game, then we need to keep watching these charts to make sure that our money is uh, doing the most that it can for us. Speaking of which, look at gold because we all know certain people in the space that just absolutely love gold don't even look at anything else crypto to gold or bitcoin to gold performing way 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 better much much better we aren't even well we're basically testing our old all-time highs here at 15 ounces so we're down to around 17 ounces now we peaked out at 37 ounces so we could buy 37 ounces of gold for one Bitcoin at the peak in April. And now we're back down to 17. So we've definitely lost over 50% of the value there. But overall, obviously the trend is up only. So we're better off holding Bitcoin rather than gold according solely to the chart here. So the other piece to look at here are the old all-time highs like we've seen. Let's see, we probably, we possibly will get a breakdown from that. But again, we're coming towards this old previous high here in June, which was a pretty big pump. That's what I've got for this video, looking at uh, Bitcoin against other asset classes. Primarily, I was looking at the tech sector, the stocks, because I like to compare, uh, obviously, I want to compare my investments. I want my money to be doing the most that it can for me. And tech seemed to be a, a very popular space, a space that's doing very well. And I just want to make sure that whatever it is I'm investing in is doing better than another space. So far, Bitcoin seems to be the play. Tesla is the only exception at the moment. As you can see, the chart is very different 
compared to everything else. Amazon, we're up. Facebook, we're up. Google, we're well and truly up. Tesla, you can see we had a nice big double top and we're way down here now. All right, so I hope you found some value from that video. I will look at indices in the future. Indices are basically just the index or the stock market of particular countries. I've got India here because it's an emerging market and we like to compare against emerging markets. We can look at the NASDAQ again, that's the technology sector. And I've also got the Aussie sector down here as well. You can go and check these out, do these on your charts as well. Uh, very interesting and very quick way to compare whatever it is you're investing into. Speaking of investments and long-term investments as we're looking at charts, Make sure you check out New Brighton Capital. Link to that is down below. That's if you want to put your superannuation money. This is for the Retirement Fund for Australians into cryptocurrency or metals. Link to that is down below. New Brighton Capital, 20-minute free phone consultation. And if you uh, happen to set yourself up with a self-managed super fund, 150 bucks of free credit if you use the link down below and put in Pizzino there. So that's just a mention for long-term investments. This is how I do it. Thank you once again. Like the video up if you found some value. Subscribe to the channel, Twitter and Instagram for daily Q&As, talking about everything over there, investment, cryptocurrency, lifestyle, all the good stuff. I'll see you at the next video, guys. Newsletter down below, free newsletter. Check it out. Drop your email address. Until next time, have more fun to get more done.